Hey there, it's Ed. Today I'm going to show you how to test the main control board on a Samsung range. You might need to test the board after a power surge, general wear and tear over time, or incorrect installation, which can prevent your range from working as it should. Let's work together so you can find out what the problem is and how you can fix it. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. Let's get our tools together. Today we'll need a Phillips head screwdriver and a multimeter. And please remember that safety comes first. Always disconnect your range from power by unplugging it or switching the breaker off. Now let's get started. The main control board is like the brain of this unit. It's connected to the keypad, the display, the door lock, and the oven sensor. There's power going from the main control board to the relay board, and incoming power supply going to it. To access the control board, slide the range out from the wall and remove the rear cover on the top back of the control panel. You're going to have to remove several Phillips head screws. We'll be taking a closer look at the different connection points for each part that the main control board controls. When you look at the connectors on the board, there should be a number next to each one to identify them. On this specific control board, there are eight connectors. The CN07 is for the ribbon connector to the keypad. You're only going to be able to check this connector to make sure the ribbon is connected correctly and make sure there's no damage to the connector itself. You can find this connector on the far left side. The next connector that we'll test is the CN04 connector. This connector is one of two that goes between the main control board and the relay control board. This will be the connector on the far left bottom of the control board. For this test, the range needs to be plugged in and powered on. Please be very careful to protect yourself from electrical shock, which has the potential to cause serious injuries. Don't ever test live voltage if you're uncomfortable using a multimeter. There will be three sets of blue and orange wires, and you should get 4.7 volts DC on the multimeter when you go from each of the orange to blue wires. Next up is the CN05 connector. This is the second connector that goes between the main control board and the relay control board. This will be located on the far left side and is the second connector to the right and is next to the CN04 connector. You should get 3.85 volts DC on the multimeter when you test between each black to white wire. Before moving forward, go ahead and unplug the range for the next test. The CN02 connector will be the third connector from the left. It's a blue and yellow wire and it's also the connector for the oven sensor. You can set your multimeter to measure resistance and test this connector for 1080 ohms at room temperature of 77 degrees. For our testing, we had the oven on, so the temperature is around 200 degrees, so our resistance is about 1360 ohms. Now we can move on to the next connector, which is the CN01. This is the fourth connector from the left side on the bottom and will be for the door lock assembly. This connector will have a green, pink, brown, blue, and violet wire. To test here, you'll test between pin four to pin five for continuity. You should get continuity at this point. Then we can check the door lock switch from the pin six brown, pin seven orange wire. With the door closed, you should have continuity. We can test the CN09 next. For this test, the range needs to be plugged in and powered on. This connector is on the bottom at the far right. It is where the power supply to the unit enters the board. You can use a multimeter to test this connector across the black to white wires for 120 volts AC. Now let's move on to the CN08 connector. This is a low voltage transformer. This connector is just above the CN09 connector and you'll need to test across the two white wires for 120 volts AC. We have one final connection to test. This will be the CN10 and it is located in the middle on the far right side. This is another low voltage connector that powers the display. There will be four wires at this connector, with two red and two yellow wires. You'll test from the red to red for 13.5 volts AC, then you'll check from the yellow wire to yellow wire for 8 volts AC. If all the results from the test are okay, then the control board is good. If any of the test results were bad, then the control board is faulty and needs to be replaced. Now don't forget to reattach the back panel and screw in the five Phillips head screws. If you found out that your control board is faulty, grab your model number and head over to appliancepartspros.com to order a new one, which should arrive in just a few days. After you get your new part, we'll walk you through the installation with our video guides. 
Share your repair experience with us by leaving a comment below. And if this video helped you, hit the like and subscribe buttons to see more videos like this. Thanks for your support. Thank <laughs> you.